Using the diagrams below, find the following. Letter A. It is an inscribed triangle. And the rule for an inscribed angle is that the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. Where's the intercepted arc? We take 106, we divide it by 2, we get 53. Letter B is also an inscribed angle. And once we identify the fact that it's an inscribed angle, this time we're given the measure of the intercepted angle, and that value, this value of 114, is half the measure of the intercepted arc. So if it's half as big as what I have outlined in green, then we're going to take 2 times 114 to get 228 degrees. Letter C. Uh, we need to find the measure of angle E. And what we need to know is that in this inscribed quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. So we can take 180 degrees and subtract 87. And when we subtract 87 from there, our measure of angle E is 93. Letter D. A couple things that we know in this particular problem uh, is that angle D, or angle EDF, is an inscribed angle. So we can figure out how big arc EF is. Because the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of our arc, EF. So if we take 55 times 2, we get 110. And we want to figure out now, and I don't know if that helps or not, and it, it does. Um, we want to figure out what uh, the measure of angle E is and the measure of angle F equals. And we actually can figure out what F is for the same reasoning here, and that is, is that this angle here is half the measure of this arc. So the measure of angle F is half of 96, and use decimals, use your calculator, but half of 96 is 48. And then we don't really need to know that 110, it's good practice or extra practice for us, but to figure out this other value here, what we can do for angle E is now we know that this angle is 48, and we already know the 55. So 48 plus 55 is 103. And then a triangle has 180 degrees in it, so we can take 180 minus 103, and we get 77. Letter E. Again, um, remember that there are 360 degrees in a triangle, and in this particular case, we know 140 plus 100. So 140 plus 100 is 240. And then we can take 360 and subtract the 240, and we get 120 which is how big this missing arc is. And now that we know all those values, and maybe we needed that, and maybe we didn't, but it gives us good practice for the inscribed angle here. But if we start with angle A, this angle is half the measure of this arc. So 1 half times 50 is 25. We can do the same thing for letter C. This angle is half the measure of this arc. So it's hard for me to write it in, but it's going to be 1 half times 140, which is 70. And we can use the same process for 
angle C, and actually I can put the 70 in the right spot here, which is going to go in angle C. Angle B is going to be half the measure of the intersected arc, so this one's going to be 1 half times 120. 